dear students already we have seen woodward feeser rules in this class we are going to see feeser control so we have seen woodward feeser rule no that is used to calculate the lambda max values for conjugated dienes and polyenes up to four double bonds if the polyen is having more than four double bond this rule can be used that is feeser kun rule can be used so what is that it is for conjugated polyenes having more than four double bonds if it is having less than four double bonds Woodward Feeser rule can be used for calculating lambda max. So according to this Feeser Kun rule, we can calculate the wavelength of maximum absorption that is lambda max and molar absorptivity that is epsilon max. One formula would be used for calculating lambda max that is lambda max equal to 114 plus 5 m plus n 48 minus 1.7 n. Minus 16.5 R into minus 10 R X O. So this would be the formula used to calculate lambda max. Already we have known what is meant by lambda max. That is the wavelength of maximum absorption. What is M? Capital M. Number of alkyl substituents or ring residues present in the conjugated system. That is, if it is having both that. both alkyl and uh, ring residue alkyl substituents and ring residues means we have to add that so it is the number of alkyl substituents plus ring residues in the conjugated system what is meant by small n that is for number of conjugated double bonds how many conjugated double bonds are there no so that would be representing n so n means number of conjugated double bonds or endo is the number of rings with endocyclic double bonds in the conjugated system R X O is number of rings with exocyclic double bonds in the conjugated system. One more formula is that that is used to calculate epsilon max. That is, we can calculate the molar absorptivity. What is that? 1.74 into 10 to the power 4 n. So that is the formula used to calculate epsilon max. By knowing the number of conjugated double bonds, we can calculate the epsilon max. So these are the two formulas that will be used to calculate lambda max and epsilon max by using this Feeser Kun rule. Now we'll see the example. So first example is beta carotene. This is the structure of beta carotene. Now from this structure we have to calculate these four values: m, small n, r n do, r x o. What is m? M is the number of alkyl substituents and ring residues. So in that structure. First, we have to find the basic one that is conjugated polyenes. So, so, starting from this and up to this, so that is the conjugated polyene. Now we have to find the alkyl substituents. What are they? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six alkyl substituents are there. Now we have to find the ring residue. So this is one ring residue. This is one ring residue. Similarly, for this ring, this is one ring residue. This is one ring residue. So, how many alkyl substituents are there? Six. And how many ring residues are there? Four. So, totally, M equal to ten. Six plus four, that is ten. Now, we have to find the value of N. That is the number of conjugated double bonds. So, what are they? How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 so 11 conjugated double bonds are there so n equal to 11 what is r endo number of rings with endocyclic double bonds so this is the ring that is having endocyclic double bond so this is another ring that is having endocyclic double bond that's why 2 so r endo is 2 now we have to find the value of r x o what is r x o number of rings with exocyclic double bond so look at this ring it is not having exocyclic double bond similarly for this ring it is also not having exocyclic double bond so um, no other rings are having exocyclic double bonds that's why r x o would be zero now we have known the values for these four e capital m small n r n do r x o so by putting the values in this equation we are getting 453.3 nanometers So that is the lambda max for beta carotene. Now, for finding the value of epsilon max, what is the formula? 1.74 into 10 to the power 4 n. What is n? Already we have seen. N is 11. So by putting the value of uh, n here, we are getting the value 19.14 into 10 to the power 4. That is the value for epsilon max for uh, epsilon max of beta carotene.
now we'll calculate for all trans lycopene so this is the structure of all trans lycopene we have to find the value of m m is the number of alkyl substituents and ring residues so this is the basic one starting from here and up to here so that is the basic one so how many alkyl substituents are there one two three four five six so six alkyl substituents and this is one ring residue this is one ring residue so six plus two that is eight or directly we can take it as one two three four five six seven this ring residue eight so number of alkyl substituents plus ring residues would be eight n is the number of conjugated double bonds so how many conjugated double bonds are there look at this it is having it is also having 11 conjugated double bonds then r endo is number of rings with endocyclic double bond it is not having any ring that's why r endo is zero what is r exo number of rings with exocyclic double bond it is also not having the ring no that's why it is also mm, it is not having the ring that's why r exo would be zero same as it of r endo so by putting the values in this equation what you are getting 476.3 nanometers so that is the lambda max for all trans lycopene and how, how can we find the value for epsilon max that is 1.74 into 10 to the power 4 n so what is n n is 11 by putting the value of n here we are getting 19.14 into 10 to the power 4 that is the epsilon max for all trans lycopene now we'll see the next example that is retinol so here what is m number of alkyl substituents and ring residues so this is one ring residue this is one ring residue here one alkyl substituent alkyl substituent ring residue so totally five are there so m equal to five and what is n number of conjugated double bonds what are they one two three four five so that is also five or endo that is number of rings with endocyclic double bond so this is the ring having endocyclic double bond so how many rings are there one ring so that's why r endo equal to one what is r exo number of rings with exocyclic double bond so it is having only one ring and that is not having exocyclic double bond that's why r exo is zero so by putting these four values in this equation we are getting the lambda max 320 nanometer and what about epsilon max the formula is 1.74 into 10 to the power 4 n n is 5 so by putting the value of n here we are getting the value 8.7 into 10 to the power 4 so that's all about feasor control